The Belton Educational Enrichment Foundation, established in 1992, was formed to enhance the quality of education for all students in the Belton Independent School District. BEEF oversees an endowment fund that provides an ongoing source of funding for scholarships and grants that help strengthen educational opportunities for students and staff. Towards the end of the school year, an event is held to award scholarships to students who work hard and have a desire to excel. In December, BEEF awards grants to teachers that want to challenge their students through innovative and creative tools and materials. BEEF also awards grants to paraprofessionals for opportunities in higher education. The grants are given to teachers during a special event called BEEF Patrol. Members of BEEF, the Belton ISD Board of Trustees, and Superintendent Dr. Susan Kincannon traveled to schools throughout the district and surprised faculty and students in their classrooms with grants totaling $49,419. The first stop was the Belton Early Childhood School where London Yepes received funding for a guided literacy library. And we are, we are proud to award $4,249.91. Wow! We would love to have a guided literacy library for us to start beginning our reading strategies and learning how to sound out words and looking at pictures and we were so excited to apply for it and to get it and it will be used by all the students at Beck so it's not just for our class, it's for the whole school to work with real books and real small groups and learn how to read. Miller Heights Elementary was the next stop for Kathleen Barkley's Active Inspire, Active Expression, Active Hub. And we are happy to award you $2,500. The Active Hub is um, a program that I can take a USB type item and put it into my computer and I create, can create interactive programs for my kids to use that give them automatic response as to whether or not they have answered correctly. It doesn't give them the correct answer, it lets them go back and try again up to four times if it's multiple choice or as many times as I allow. It also lets the kids make their own programs so that we can use it in class for every subject across the board. For Jennifer Gilden, it was the King School Series Guided Reader Sets. And so we're happy to award you $1,080 toward awesome. that. Awesome. Wonderful. Okay. We appreciate it. Rebecca Shedd gets an outdoor learning center renovation. So we're happy to award you $1,249. And Deanna Ivey will receive her third grade book study. And we're happy to award $1,048.60. Wow! Down the street was Chisholm Trail for Yasmin Ray's Level Up. So we're here today to award $1,848. Yeah. You know how guys, we always do guided reading. And a lot of times I want you guys to keep reading and I want you to be interested in the books that we read. Kind of like we were reading about insects and you guys like that. You like reading about ants and animals. And so I wanted to get more guided reading books that were nonfiction for you guys to continue motivating you to read. South Belton Middle School got a visit for Darlene Cox's active learning for the 21st century learner. And we're happy to award $3,000. <laughs> learner to really excel, um, they need to see data right then. They want clear feedback right instantly and with the clickers, that is the way to go today. We want, we have our iPads, we have um, our technology. Well, let's step for uh, a little further and let's get the clickers so they can see data immediately. Enrica Butler will receive an art department's need for success. And we're happy to award $5,000. Now you're going to make, you're going to make things on the potter's wheel. And we're going to get to do so many amazing things. Uh, extruder, we're going to get a machine on the wall. But it's called an extruder. It's kind of like when you play with Play-Doh and you make the hair come out of the Play-Doh creature. You extrude. So we're going to have a thing on the wall and we put clay in it and we extrude it and makes a coil for you. Oh, I, I mean, that's just... <laughs> Leon Heights Elementary was the next stop for Roberta McIntyre's reading intervention for dyslexic and at-risk students. And we're going to award $2,257. Yeah. 
and Rose Morales received literacy growth. And then we also have one for Miss Morales. I think she's in Waco. Yes. And she applied for a liter literacy growth grant. We're going to award three thousand and twenty-five dollars to her. Wow. We visited Belton High School for Laura DeWett's Meeting the Math Process Standards. Yes. Okay, so we're here to award six thousand dollars. And if you will tell us a little bit about uh, what what the project's about. Well, a big part of math this year is that the students have to show how they are doing their work, how they are getting their answers. And so the best way to do that for geometry and for some of the other subjects like math models and AQR is to have a document camera. But we have 10 teachers in, in those subjects in geometry, AQR, math models that do not have them and Algebra 1. Next was Pierto Gustino for Vehicle Engineering. And we're here to award a, a grant of $3,283. Awesome. Yay! I applied for a grant that allows my class to get 3D printers and at the end of the year we're going to have a project where they get to design uh, basically uh, car parts and 3D modeling software and once they have those designed they actually get to 3D print them, put them together and then race in a competition. Six paraprofessionals also received a grant for their education. Tammy Bradford, Melissa Fanning, Christina Gutierrez, Shanique Hicks, Renee Lawrence and Veronica Panetto. And we're happy to award you six hundred dollars. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate your time. Paraprofessional Gina Osario also got a surprise at Sparta Elementary. Grant her six hundred dollars for that. Next on the Beef Patrol route was High Point Elementary from Melinda Kelly's Let's Write Together. And so today we're going to give two thousand eight hundred seven. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. 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 Tell us a little bit about what the project is. Well, we are going to be working um, with Promethean boards and working about writing together and working on projects to build our vocabulary and make our writing better, become better authors. Does that sound like fun? Awesome. Yeah. Tarver Elementary was the next stop for Laura Lovett's Writing Stations. And we're here to give you uh, uh, the grant of $1,205. Wow. So we just kind of wanted to beef up our writing stations, um, make, make the kids really want to go to that station, um, you know, make it look really exciting for them, have some new materials in it, um, organize it, and really allow them to use those six plus one traits Yay. that Belton teaches. <laughs> the last stop was at Joe M. Pertle Elementary. Carol Holly will get building a strong math foundation. And so we're here to award $1,000. Wow! about the grant? Sure. So I noticed that our kids across the whole building are interested in Legos. We started Tiger Clubs this year and that has been the most popular club. They all went in the Legos Club. So I've seen a lot of stuff on the internet about, yeah, you too, about using Legos to teach math and math concepts and fractions and perimeter yeah, and math. Sure. Yeah. And paraprofessional Robin Smith now has extra money for school. I present you with $600 towards your education. It was a great day for the Beef Patrol, who will revisit these schools in the coming months to see how the grant projects are being used in the classroom.